something happening in my ear. Hello and welcome to JasonNewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. So, welcome. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes as this deep sleep session may cause deep sleep. Also, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please only watch when you can safely close your eyes and please subscribe and also leave a a lovely, wonderful, complimentary comment telling me how great I am. Thank you. So, I think this is the 58th session in this deep sleep hypnosis. Uh, it's not a course, but it's an ongoing thing. And I'd really like to thank everybody online who downloads and listens to these recordings because these are the most popular ones that I produce at the moment and I also do the let me bore you to sleep they've become really popular as well lately so I just want to thank you because you're the reason I do this so today is Monday the 25th of February 2019 I haven't done anything for a couple of days I think Saturday was the last one uh, so my idea for this session is not caring about anything and when I say that I don't mean throughout your life, during the day, in your relationships, at work, or any of that stuff. I'm talking solely about not caring about anything when you're lying down on your bed. And when I say not caring about anything, I literally mean that. to the extent where the only reason you would ever get out of bed other than in an emergency would be to urinate or to go to the toilet maybe you know, if you have to get a drink or whatever your situation is but to not care about anything in your bed that place of safety that place of warmth and comfort that's yours that's your safe space because when you're lying in your bed be honest what really matters right now you can ask yourself that What matters is that the bed is comfortable. But what else really matters right now? And you know what? Even if the bed isn't comfortable, I spent 20, 30 years living in various uncomfortable beds. I didn't live in the bed. <laughs> it's like big, some big walked around on a mattress a couple of eye holes uh, no ok some of my matches did have holes in them but not all self made so the amount of really rubbish beds that I've slept in yeah I woke up in the morning feeling really comfortable possibly wasn't too great for my body but I don't know. But what really matters right now I have a question. 
questions you can ask yourself. And while I talk, while I whisper, I'd like you to repeat these questions that I ask you and see what response you get. The next question as you're lying on your bed, your head touches the pillow, your body feels heavy automatically and your mind slows down naturally. The question, have I done this before? Have you slept before? Have I slept before? Chances are pretty good, pretty, pretty good that you have done this before. You've laid down on your bed, your body's got heavy, your mind slows down. The second that your head touches the pillow, have I done this before? And when you ask that question, you might even struggle to finish question because the mind slows down so much that it might actually be more like have I done this and you're kind of trying to think what the next word is It's not a question, it's a statement. This is not my first rodeo. This is not my first rodeo. Remember to repeat these statements and questions after I've said them, if you're able to. What they in my find your mind slows down. To the point where it's a little bit more difficult to repeat things that you can't remember what they were to start with. This is not my first rodeo. This is not the first time that you've laid down on your bed. Your head touches the pillow, your body gets heavy. All the muscles in your body relax automatically at the same time and your mind slows down. It's not the first time you've done this. It's not the last time you've done this. You've been doing this many, many, many more times. Sleeping deeply. on yourself. If there's something on your mind and you're worrying about something that's getting in the way of you relaxing, ask yourself, and this is an old, old question, but you can ask yourself this honestly, is the world going to end? Genuinely, is this the end of the world or can you just let that crap go, at least for the time being, while you 
this lake. Heavy. The second you're 
and your mind slows down. There's nothing to think about, nothing to be concerned about. It's not your first rodeo. Have you done this before? Yes, you have. Have you laid down on your bed and fallen asleep before? Yes, you have. I don't mean to sound like Bob the Builder. Yes, you can. What really matters right now? Nothing. Nothing matters. Because the process of falling asleep takes no effort. It cannot be forced. Just in the same way when you're sitting on a toilet. You shouldn't force it. I understand the temptation to do that. Especially if you're watching something on television and you're trying to do the poo and get it all done in the adverts. But anyone that knows, anyone that's tried to force one out knows that you can end up straining yourself getting hemorrhoids and piles and getting discomfort and I know that sleeping technically isn't the same physically as trying to squeeze a boo out I know that but it's a normal bodily function that can't be forced because in a sense it's no longer comfortable and relaxed and calm it's about enjoying being yourself and you can enjoy the magic sleeping because although I talk about not caring about anything and sleeping's no more interesting than farting just a natural bodily function that we are all born to do you see any baby they'll fall asleep just it's amazing in a second that they fall asleep I've seen a baby fall asleep while they were asleep. I've seen babies fall asleep while they're eating. We're born with that natural ability to fall asleep. Luckily, we have learned to stay awake. That's one of those things we've, we've learned, we've had to learn to stay awake. Because there's important times when we need to be alert. So what really matters right now? Nothing. sleep.